saw somebody dropped saying that she wished she has a mother-in-law like Neka, not the Winchi Winchi mother-in-law that she got. And um, let's talk about this in this video. First of all, I don't know why NJ has not gone back home. Don't come and ask me, oh, Ami, she must have gone back home. It, it is the video that I watch that I will react on. Uh -huh. I don't live in her house, so I don't know if she has gone back home or if this video is last year video. It's what I watch, it's what I will react on. I don't know why NJ has not gone back home because if you can remember that reaction I did for her when she traveled to america that was like wow your husband is a very nice man oh, to allow you you know travel leave him in the house and you know and go and when they came back to nigeria sincerely i'm not gonna lie to you i was thinking nj would just from abuja maybe the next morning go straight to you know see her hobby and do but watching this vlog this is like few days after i mean if not weeks itself you know, this people's content, you cannot really put a time stamp on it. Mm -hmm. This is like, let's say, a few days after or a few weeks after. And I'm still seeing uh, NJ there. I'm like, NJ, you know what I'm going to say? Your husband is very nice, though. You know what I'm going to say? Well, mm. let's leave that talk there. Oh. Mm. Let's move straight to the lady that was saying she wish she has a nice mother-in-law like uh, Neka and not the type of mother-in-law she has. I will try to put the comments in the video. See, my dear, with the videos we have watched so far, Neka is a good daughter-in-law to her mother-in-law. Yes. Most people sit down and wish good mother-in-laws, but they are not good daughter-in-laws. Mind you, there are some good daughter-in-laws that are just unfortunate to meet terrible mother-in-laws. That one is an exception. So with what I see here, the mother-in-law is a naturally a good woman. She's this Anambra women that, you know, they want the best for their son. And since they want the best for their son, they will also transfer that love they have for their son down to his wife and children. That is the way I see Nika's mother-in-law. You can see how happy she was in this video. Flaunting everything, telling her, Ne, come and enter, Bia Banyewa, Bia Banyewa, come and, you know, come and sit down in the car. The way she prayed, even before Nika, you know, went for her delivery in the US. You watch that clip where her mother-in-law held her hand and was praying with her. So that is a thoughtful woman over there. The woman is not giving Winchi Winchi vibe. Neka is not giving Winchi Winchi vibes. So, they are perfect match made in heaven. Just imagine this woman was a nice person. And Neka is giving her Winchi Winchi vibes. The relationship will not last now. So, that's just how I see it. Her mother-in-law is an amazing woman. With the videos we have seen so far. She's a detailed woman. She's someone that her eye day ground. You know, she, she, she did not just say, mm, you are now married. It's now you and your wife. She you know she still put eye in the one she can put eye, you know, in prayers, in you know, support, everything. If you check their videos, she's always there. When uh, Neka was going to deliver, or when she came back, or even now, and you'll be surprised that she might even be the one that put this idea in the husband's head that someone go and buy my daughter in law a push gift. Yes, see, if your mother in law like you, your own, don't better. Oh. I'm telling you the truth. I, I feel so sorry for those that they are good to their mother-in-laws and their mother-in-laws are still bad to them. That one is an exception. But if your mother-in-law likes you, you don't know what God has done for you. You don't know. Don't be surprised. It was this woman that met this one. Yo, 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 go, 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 go. go and get a push gift for my daughter-in-law. Because you see these men are times They don't used to sit down and think about these things. They need to get inspiration from somewhere or idea from somewhere before they're like, oh, it's even true. My wife deserves a, a push gift, except the man is a detailed person. So maybe the mother-in-law was even the one that seconded it, that, okay, go and get a push gift for your wife. And it's like, oh, that's true. And then the gift arrived. So what I just see here is amazing mother-in-law, amazing daughter-in-law. Two of them are giving positive vibe, and that is why you are seeing their friendship is working. Well, I might be wrong, but like I said earlier, 
I react based on what I watch in their videos. Let's watch this clip. Uh, excuse me, please. What mother can you do? Chinelo, dry. We'll call you back. Yes. I also saw this comment of someone telling Neka to give her the old. <laughs> you some some women eh? <laughs> some women. <laughs> some women eh? First your husband buy a moto. You, you, the moto never even stay one year. You already asking for the old one. If they look at you well now, your husband bought you car this year or bought you car last year. Eh? Ha! I don't know why you pull, you pull feel so comfortable. It's people you don't know from anywhere. Just because you watch them, you're already asking for an old car. Mm. Well, shy, eh? <laughs> me, me, I'm shy when it comes to asking for things. Maybe she, she's not shy. I'm surprisingly, Nika I see that comment and dash her old car. <laughs> they say a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Who knows? Now, let's talk about um, Nika getting a push gift despite having a girl child. Now, you know that Nika already has a boy. Yes, I think I've forgotten his name. They have cute names. Nika already has a boy. And you know this particular birth, she had a baby girl. Now, you might be saying, ah, most times women that their husbands buy push gifts for are those that have male children. You know, many men, uh, you understand, appreciate their wives more when they give them male children. I used to hear that a lot. Mind you, I'm not saying that male children are not essential. If you are an Igbo woman married to an Igbo man, having a male child is very, very important. Let us not even come here and start deceiving ourselves. Mm -hmm. What I'm just trying to say here is that Despite the fact that this woman had a female child, had a baby girl, he still did not stop the fact that the husband got her a push gift. Now, this is what I want some of us to understand. We still have people out there that don't place so much emphasis on certain things. What am I trying to say? Male child though, female child though, we still have men out there. We still have family members out there that will still show you the kind of love they will show you. If you like, have only male child or if you like, have only female child. Or. So it's not by having a male child or by having a female child. When Neka had the, the boy, so I'm not even sure the husband gave her this kind of big push gift. So it is not coming from a place of, oh, it's because you had a female child or you have a female child. It's from a place of, I just want to appreciate you as my wife. For all the stress you have been through. Going through labor two times in less than two years. Carrying my child. Doing all that stress. Doing all that hard work. I just want to appreciate you. Not because of, oh, you have a male child or, oh, you have a female child. There are women that they are titicing for years. Yeah, I mean, years, years. Yeah, their husbands buy them gifts. Their husbands love them. Their husband spoiled them silly. The fact that you have given your husband 20 male children and he doesn't see you as woman being does not mean you will start thinking the other woman that does not have a male child, the husband will see her as trash. It is your own husband that has a problem. Go and face your husband. That's the point I'm just trying to, you know, pass across here. The man appreciates his wife that. My wife went through all this stress. She deserves something. If Neka still born boy the second time, the husband will still, will still give her that push gift. You understand? But like I said earlier, I'm someone that I believe in balance and family. I don't want to have only girls, no. I don't want to have only boys, no. I want a mixed family, boys and girls. So that's just it, my people. So when I see people that put, you know, so much importance on male children. So much. Ah, I must born boy, I must born boy. Not from a place of you want balance in your home, but from a place of you just feel that once I born boy, I don't arrive. Ah, I always shake my head. I want a male child. I want a female child because I want balance in my home. I want to know what it feels like to have a male child. I want to know what it feels like to have a female child. Not because, oh, I want, uh, I, I, I want to arrive. I want to sit down with my full leg. No. 
That's when you have that kind of mindset that oh, I want to have a male child because I want to, I want to you know, you know, I want to sit down with my full leg in my husband's house. That is when some certain things that you're not supposed to think, you start thinking of it. You see, the women want to just have male children. They start misbehaving in their husband's house, but they feel, oh, I don't sit down with two legs now. They are still chasing women out with male children. So in case. In 2023, you're still having that mindset that now until you born boy before your leg don't stand, my dear, hmm, have a rethink. And also, if you're watching the Nakers video and your husband cannot afford to give you a push gift, don't see your husband as a wicked man or as a stingy man or as an inconsiderate man. No, the man no gets. Now, why not if he buy, buy you push gift? Yes. Some of them watch this Nakers video now, they'll start boning for their husband. Eh, when I had my babies, he did not buy me push gifts. He did not buy me moto. He, did not, he does not have. That's why he did not buy. Except for those men that have oh, but intentionally did not buy or are just stingy with money. There's an exception here. Oh. Anyone your husband give you, if it is 10,000 he gives you and say, take baby, accept it, appreciate it. Some families, the men have to even save to pay hospital bill. Maybe if you live in all these high bro areas, like my area, if you want to give birth here, just hold like one million naira. So maybe the man is, you know, a, a nine to five and that does not earn much. The man has to save for antenata, he has to save for baby things, he has to save for hospital bill. By the time he finishes paying all those things, money not even remain to even do push gifts. Will you not say you know now appreciate the effort he made to bring out over three million naira just to, you know, take care of you and the baby? No now. So don't watch Neka's video now and start looking at your husband somehow. Hey, he did not buy me push gift. Neka's husband can afford it times 10. That's why he bought it. And he can say, oh, my husband has 10 million naira in his account. Why didn't he buy me push gift? If your husband buy you push gift, 8 million, how much will remain? You do the mathematics. In this terrible economy, you want to... <laughs> now you go suffer last, last. So don't look at Nick and say, eh, Nick, Nick, a born girl, but they buy and push gifts. The husband can afford it times 10. That's why I always say, let us continue to pray for our husband because if it's better for them, it's also better for us, okay? Once again, congratulations to Nick and family. Over here, we are super, super, super happy for you. This is, I don't want to say every woman's dream, but, you know, being appreciated, your labor of love being appreciated is one thing that every woman wants to, you know, see. And I pray that God continue to, you know, replenish you and your family. My lovely people, please tell Nika congratulations in the comment section. That's all I have for you in this video. Do all to like, do all to subscribe. Let me know your own opinion in the comment section. I will see you in my next video. Bye.